Dear viewers, Drishti IAS welcomes you to the new series of To The Point. Today's topic of discussion is Lookout Circular. First of all, let's see why is it in the news. Recently, the Supreme Court stayed the order of Punjab and Haryana High Court regarding Lookout Circular or LOC. In April 2022, the High Court directed the Ministry of Home Affairs and the Bureau of Immigration to serve a copy of an issued LOC to the affected person, state the reasons for issuing the LOC, and provide a post-decisional opportunity. Now let's discuss what is Lookout Circular, that is LOC. An LOC is issued to make sure that an individual who is absconding or wanted by law enforcement agencies is not able to leave the country. It may be used at immigration checks at international borders like international airports and seaports. In India, LOC has given a program which has identification parameters of criminals. It helps police to catch absconding criminals and stop them from crossing borders. A lookout circular is a coercive measure used by the investigating agencies and the courts. It is used to compel the suspects who are awaiting trial to surrender. The basic guidelines regarding the publication of the LOCs are issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs. A large number of agencies are authorized to generate LOCs which includes the Central Bureau of Investigation, Enforcement Directorate, Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, Income Tax, and State Police and Intelligence Agencies. Now let's have a look at the guidelines related to LOC. According to a 2010 official memorandum of the Ministry, some details to be mandatorily provided with name, passport number, and other details. These details include first information report, that is FIR number, court case number, etc. The LOCs can be modified, deleted or withdrawn by the Bureau of Immigration only at the request of the authorized originator. Further, the legal liability of the action taken by immigration authorities in pursuance of LOC rests with the originating agency. The MHA in 2018 brought changes to the 2010 guidelines when several businessmen fled the country after defaulting on loans. It authorized the chairman, managing director and chief executives of all public sector banks to generate LOCs against persons who could be detrimental to the economic interests of the country. Now let's discuss what are legal remedies. The blacklisted individuals can approach a court or the competent officer who issued the LOC for its withdrawal. As per norms, an LOC will stay valid for a maximum period of 12 months. If there is no fresh request from the agency, then it will not be automatically revived. The MHA has asserted that LOCs cannot be shown to the subject at the time of detention, nor can any prior intimation be provided. An LOC can be issued on the basis of a non-bailable warrant by a subordinate court. In this case, a cancellation of that warrant, that is LOC, by the court will make it invalid. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements. 1. Lookout circular is valid for maximum 12 months. 2. It is automatically revived without any fresh request from the agency. Which of the statement or statements mentioned above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2, or neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.